Tony DeGarmo, Executive Director of Project 1649. It is my honor to accept the 2021 Reg Weaver Human and Civil Rights Award. Thank you to the Wisconsin Education Association Council and the National Education Association for recognizing the importance and value of both the work our organization does and the population we serve. We are grateful to have this opportunity to raise awareness of youth homelessness. Each year, more than 300 unaccompanied youth in my community and an estimated half a million across the U.S. experience homelessness on their own. Youth of color and those who identify as LGBTQ are disproportionately represented in these numbers. Most of our youth have experienced significant trauma and are particularly vulnerable to sex trafficking and other exploitation and victimization. Project 1649 was established in 2012 to address the special needs of this population that is often difficult to identify and serve. The adult homeless system isn't designed to serve young people still in high school, and those under 18 cannot access most adult services. I see firsthand every day that these youth have the same dreams, aspirations, and capabilities of any of our kids. They just haven't had the same opportunities. We know education is critical to lifting these youth out of poverty and homelessness. To that end, our organization collaborates with our local high schools and community partners to ensure these youth's basic needs are addressed and that they have access to the services and support they need to complete their high school education. We assist with things that many kids might take for granted. Food, clothing, hygiene products, school supplies, obtaining personal identification, accessing physical and mental health care, locating safe housing options, and other assistance based on the youth's specific situation and needs. Project 1649 also operates two transitional living homes for older youth, ages 17 to 21. These homes provide a safe space for residents to heal, learn, and grow. Youth receive age-appropriate case management, practice key life skills, and increase their self-sufficiency with the goal of transitioning to independent living. The support, guidance, and care we offer comes at a critical point in these young lives and can be a truly life-changing opportunity. Youth homelessness is not something that any of us can solve alone. However, each of us can make an impact. I encourage you to learn more about youth homelessness in your own community, then be an advocate. Share your knowledge and raise awareness whenever and wherever possible. Thank you again for this honor and congratulations to all of this year's award winners.